leg and like a nice butt. I don't like a huge comical ass, but enough to wear because you know we all like the Indian doggy style because we black man. That's just what we do. Um, you know, shout out to all my non-black brothers. Hey, that's the black man's thing. All sexy Indian doggy style with us. <laughs> I'm not kidding. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Good. How old are you? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Are there enough women for relationships today? Yeah. Really? Enough women for relationships? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're okay. Uh, do you have any children? No. Well, what city? Are, well, don't share that. Why would you say that there are enough women in, for men, enough women for relationships today, when sixty-five percent of men say that they're not? Um. Depends on what they're looking for. Like, there's women out there, there's men out there, but it's like, where are they looking? No. What type of person? They're, they're looking for relationships. So the, imp the the men are looking for relationships and or marriage. They're not looking to hook up. They're not looking for one night stand. They're looking for a woman. And 65% of men say that there are not enough. You as a woman say they are. And I'm asking you, why do you say that? And you said it depends now that where you're going down in that way then no huh speaking looking for women like girls that they want to like have sex with but relationship no no relationship meaning if i said sex if there are enough women for sex today that's a different question there's a lot of women for sex okay but are there enough women for relationships i guess not do you want to be married one day do you want children No, you don't. If, no? I'm, if I'm married, I want children. But I don't want to be like a baby mama. If How many means. children would you like to have? Two. Did you go to college? Yeah. Okay. I'm in uh, school. You're in college right now? Mm-hmm. What are you going to school for? San Jose State for communications. Okay. And you're 28? I know. For communications? Yeah. What do you plan on doing with that? other than being broke. <laughs> I want to work in PR for sports. So you, yeah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. PR for like a, for a right. major league team? Yeah. And how much you think you'll earn in PR? I have no idea, honestly. I did my research, but it's it's different. It depends on like how many clients you have and what firm you work for. But, uh, but approximately, how much, if you never get married, how much do you expect to make in a year over your career, at the peak of your career? I haven't thought that far. At 28, I know it sounds bad, but... Yeah, it does. So let's <laughs> talk about it. At 28, you're good in college debt with a communications degree, and you want to be in PR. That is a very small group of jobs. Yeah, and there's not that many... Um... I know, and sorry, you likely won't get it because there are not that many. The chances of you getting a PR job for a sports team is small because they're already taken. And then what do you plan on doing? What can you do with a communications degree? I want to do like sports management. And make how much? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't have Ball a Ballpark it. You got to give me a number. I at least want to make six figures, but I know that's... Six figures. Thing. What state do you live in? I live in Atlanta right now. Okay. Welcome to reality. What percentage of women earn more than $75,000 a year? Guess. Guess. Like 23. I just slapped you. <laughs> Again. See, this is the problem. A 28-year-old woman who does not want marriage who's going to school late. I do want marriage. No. You did? All right. You were shaky on that when you came through. But at 28, you're in the danger zone. Danger zone! How many more years do you have before you graduate? I graduate in December. All right. So you'll be 28, 29. Man. If you don't get married, how do you plan on getting your $2.9 million or so that you'll need to retire on from 65 to 85. Because most people, most women, earn 30, less than $30,000 a year. 
I could make more than that bartending. At a mm -hmm. club. But you can't. But you can't bartend until you're sixty five. Pretty Sad. runs cute. Cute runs out. And what you're showing, and what I'm using to show is, women today are allowed to go through life like it's not that serious. I'm asking you very basic questions. You're like, I know I should know. Yeah, you should know. Because men have to know because ain't nobody coming to save us. And the reality is this. If you don't get married, the likelihood of you making enough money to take care of yourself through retirement is negligible. I did, an, I did an assignment on my, on my show. If a woman made $50,000 from 25 to 65 over her career, and it just kept moving with the cost of inf with, with cost of inflation, cost of inflation. And if she needed to retire at 65 and live to 85, she would need $2.9 million. Even if she saved $200 a month, which was a lot compared to what she would have after taxes and apartment and everything else here in Atlanta, she'd have a, she'd have a $700,000 shortfall, meaning you need a husband to get to the end of life unless you plan on being wealthy. Yeah. Unless you know you're going to make 125, 150, you need a man. Like you said, it's not going to last. No, it's not. I mean, I mean, we could play that game, but there's always a new model, right? And see, what I'm showing is 50, 70 years ago, you'd have been married with a child by now. At 28. Two, two kids, probably. But another woman who is out of the out of the mating and dating and relationship thing to go get a no offense but communications is a pointless degree to do a job that's a fanciful job PR for a sports team I'm, I'm just saying those are small amounts of jobs and that is more appealing than being somebody's current wife right now and somebody's current mother that's what's been marketed to you guys. And all I'm trying to do is bring light to that say, well, all right, you need to understand, here are your options. The path you're on right now, there are a lot of women in Atlanta who are doing what you're doing, trying to start their own business, PR, consulting, but there's 17 to one black women for black men. And that's before you adjust for the high gay population. So yeah. what I'm saying is every other group of women are married at a 54% rate or higher. Were you raised to think that you needed a man to get to the end of life? Um, not that I need, but that I should have one. Were your mother and father married? No. How many children does your mother have? My mom has four kids. By how many men? Two. And what does she do for a living? She's like a manager at like a water company. Well, unless you plan on, unless you know you're going to be making 150. My mom got money, but. Your mom got, has what? She got money, but that got nothing to do with me, but yeah. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> and what I'm saying is like, because when I ask you, you want to be married, it's kind of like, yeah, sure, one day. I was like, there's no sense of urgency for relationships. So if, if you don't get married, what does life look like for you? If you're an average middle class, mid PR, and I used to run an advertising and PR firm. There ain't a lot of money in it for everybody. If, you, if we gave you a salary of $70,000 a year. But I feel like if you know the right people, you can get a job like in that. Yeah, field. a job. And jobs don't make people rich. Or a career in that field. The average PR professional, <clears throat> average PR professional in Atlanta earns what? The average PR salary, 45 to 75, 36 to 60. I'll give, I'll give you a high end, 70,000. 70,000 from age 35 to 65. That means you're going to be living at a $70,000 salary. What about in California? Because... Uh, you go, you're even more broke. Oh, shit. So, do you have an apartment? Mm-hmm. Do you, you, you want to live in an apartment for the rest of your life? 
You want a home. All right. What kind of car would you like to drive at 40? I want like a Range Rover. Oh, okay. And how much do Range Rovers cost? Mm, like 70. Right. Uh, so you want a, a Range Rover that's 70 on the low end in a career field that pays middle income. I just got to marry rich then. <laughs> Fuck you. I need you to lean forward. You want to go in on me? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Because I need you to understand how unintentionally insulting that is. Because your plan, because I've decided to uh, I, I need your money, sir. Okay, then what's he going to get for being rich? What's he going to get from you? What's he going to get for his money? That's fair. Right? I think that's fair. What's he getting? Huh? A housewife. I don't know the correct answer because I don't know. Well, the thing is, ma'am, you're not a housewife. You weren't raised to be a housewife. No, I wasn't. See, what your answer is, and you're being honest. Yeah. Most women don't go through life thinking about these things because ultimately somebody will figure it out for me. And if that doesn't happen, I'll just find a man and he'll do it. So I need you black women to start walking through life like you need a black man. Because, I do need a black man. Okay, but where's your man? Where is he? So if you need him, why ain't your ass over at his house right now on your knees? Doing what? What you should be doing at 11 o'clock at night in Atlanta for a man you need. Praying with him? Uh, he's saying, oh, my God. I don't know if he's praying. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, seriously. I mean, we're adults, right? Mm-hmm. When was your last relationship? Almost four years ago. All right. So when I say you should be acting like a sense of urgency at 28 years old, you ain't sweat a relationship for four years when when most women recognize I am not going to be a, a woman who is earning six figures or more, an attorney, a physician, uh, engineer, even accounting and that kind of stuff. That's high five figures. So if I'm not going, if you're not going to make that kind of money, you need a man. And most black women need a man. But y'all act like y'all are the last ones to need one. Matter of fact, you got songs talking about it. I do. I will never say I don't need a man. I do. All right, then where is he? I don't know. How long have you been in Atlanta? Um, since August. All right. How long was your last relationship, the one that ended four years ago? Like a year and a half. Okay. If I had, and who ended it? Him. Why? Because I was working at a club in L.A. Mm -hmm. And he looked through my phone and see my messages of me texting, like, high-profile men. And he was like, why would you? Were you texting them? See you when you get back to the club? or Yeah, right. things like that, like booking tables and things like that. But I was, like, never cheating. But he's, I guess, I don't know. He was like, nah, not my bitch. And he was like. Is that did, when he met you? Were you doing that job? No. What were you doing when he met you? I think I was waitressing. Okay. Yeah. So, due respect, I, I was a server, and it's not uncommon for attractive people to leverage their looks and service, but that runs out. Yeah. So, did he give you a chance to? resolve this problem or did it just bounce we were on i think we woke up like three different times but it just i didn't change like i was still it was like quit your job or i was like i'm not gonna quit my job okay what did he like, do for a living doing it i'm like no so. what did he do for a living he played football all right did he want to marry you mm, i don't know why did he want you to quit your job how are you going to make money hmm how, if you quit your job, how are you going to make money? So he just told you to quit your job and do nothing. 
or find a different job. He wanted okay. me to go back to waitressing at a restaurant, which I make more money at a club. Okay. If I was like, yeah. And what? And did he play football for whom? For the Rams. All right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna ask you a hard question. In hindsight, would you have been better off quitting your job and staying with your man? Um, it depends. I feel like if it, if I knew we were going to last, yeah, get married, then yeah. Did you guys ever have that conversation? No, that's why. Did you make it a requirement that you wanted to get married before you start dating? No. Then, then there you go, man. Mm-hmm. You ladies think that men are just supposed to marry you. And if you start dating somebody and you don't want to get married, he don't want to get married, y'all just hanging out. Right. So what I'm showing is no matter how we slice it, you've had opportunities. You know, you've lived in places and you're just not, men are just fun for you at this point. All right. But what are you going to do when you drop off the wall and you hit 30 or really 35 and you can't be a a waitress like you used to be? You can't get those tips. Then you're going to have to be like your mama and work your ass off because you're taking your youth and wasting it instead of saying, hmm, do I need a man in my life or do I want to do like a lot of modern women up marrying their friends or roommates or something. I'm just trying to get you to ask yourself these questions because our culture does it. And the net net of it is you're another 28 year old sister who is been sleepwalking through life about relationships, not the seriousness. And I've asked this question many ways. What do women owe their community? You owe the community families and relationships. So, um, has this given you anything new to think about? Yeah. Actually, it has. All right, well, good. Ask questions I really didn't have an answer to, so now I really got to think about it. Well, I mean, the real question is, at the end of your life, do you want to be by yourself with your homegirl, with a dog, cat, or do you actually want to be with her? Do you want to have had a life with somebody, had some children, some memories? Because... I to a huh? black I said, I want to be married to a black man, two kids, big house, well, someone with a big dick, and then I'm fine. Well, you, you, all that big house and big dick, I mean, <laughs> you're lucky if you get a black man. I will get a black man. One in four black women will marry. And all that other stuff, man, is kind of silly. Let me tell you why. Because more black women divorce men because the sex ain't good enough, or his dick ain't good enough, or the house ain't big enough. All right, fine. Only person that's gonna hurt is you or women that do that kind of stuff. You don't hear non-black women say, "I want a, I need a, a guy with a house and a big." Dick. They need a four hundred one k. They want a four hundred one k and retirement plan and some benefits. Why do you need a big? Dick? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, seriously. It was a joke, but no, for real. But that's, it's, that's, it, but it's a joke in our culture because. And, but you need to understand what men hear when they hear that. That okay. means what, what, what men hear is being a suitable pro, a provider and a man, a solid man, ain't good enough. I still got to make give you a big house and have a big. But so you, you can't. You, when it comes to me, you can't just be like black women because my mom's Mexican and I was okay. raised Hispanic culture with my dad just not. Around when I was younger, you were Hispanic. You're culturally Hispanic. Like my my mom is full Mexican, so I growing up wasn't around. Like, you have any brothers? Yeah, I do. So, uh, you have a how old? Is, you have a brother who's older than you. I have one older brother and then two younger brothers. All right. So, at dinner time, did you serve them? No. Then you're not culturally Mexican. <laughs> my mom served them. That's their mom. But see, that's your job. As a sister? Yes. Really? Yes. Your mother was supposed to be serving her husband, but she's not culturally Mexican either because she got multiple. You're supposed to. Okay, listen. What do you think? What do you think the young ladies in the family learned how to become a wife? The mother serves the father. The daughters serve the brothers. 
you, you, so I, there, you, I didn't make this stuff up. I, I mean, I'm, um, so when you say you're culturally Mexican, I'm like, oh, you seem culturally black. I, re I resonate with what you told me more than I would think somebody from Mexico would understand what you're talking about. And me telling you raising, uh, serving your brothers, it's like, what? Yeah, you serve I yourself. Heard of that. Huh? I honestly never heard that the sister has to serve their brothers. Well, the women serve the men of yeah, the family. The, my mom and my grandma would serve their husbands and then their Yeah, but, but you are a I woman. You are, the females serve the males. So, I mean, I've, I, I've heard this because I've seen it. When okay. I go to my Hispanic friends, my Mexican friends, when I'm seeing the little girls, or the, um, when I'm seeing older girls serve their brothers, I'm seeing younger girls serve their brothers. I'm like, that's dope. That's how they learn. I cooperate with a man. What do you think he's supposed to do? You're supposed to do that after he becomes your boyfriend, then your husband, then you'll serve him? Then why should he marry you if you got to have on-the-job training? Well, I would serve my kids and my boyfriend or husband. So I don't know about my brother. That's new uh, to me. I would for sure like serve. But them. it's because you okay. Look, why not? I mean, they're men, right? Yeah, I just I I never thought of it. So well, I wouldn't because, have a problem. because, and I'll tell you one of the reasons you might not have thought about. Like this. if they asked me, I would do it, but I would never be like, hold on, let me fix your plate. Like have a seat. Well, let me tell you one of the reasons you may not, because women today don't have respect for men like they used to, because you're provided for and you're safe. But if you, a thousand years ago, you were living in a town, a village, or uh, there was no police or fire, who were the only people to protect your safety at the home? The men. Your father and the other boys. Mm -hmm. So, in respect for the fact that they got to protect you, you serve them some bread. Because they got to die for you. See how we've broken down the whole nature of the family? How we've broken down the respect due for a woman to a man and a man to a woman to where now relationships are really just romantic ch choice things versus necessity? Everything I've been talking to you about is necessity, not mm -hmm. love, not romance. It's necessity. If you don't have enough money, you're going to either live with a woman or what? There's no more. The government can't fix it. You're going to live in a shoebox? Most women don't have it. That's why I'm trying to get people to understand you, the way you talk to women, because y'all need to be shocked into reality. Because no, I've you're seen not a you're, you're honest, you're fair. Well, thank you, and what I don't. I, I reflect what I get back, and I think many women today, I, I I've seen the marketing that was done to women to get women to be a consumer class, and it's not malice, but when you're just walking around thinking, I've got time. I'm young. I'm only 28. I got time. I mean, honestly, you're probably thinking that I got time. I mean, I'm not as young as I used to be, but I, I still got time. I mean, I graduate in December. And the presumption is when you're ready, all you got to do is turn around and go get a man off the high value tree. And you said a big house and a big, let's get back to it. How many kids would you like to have? Two. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're married? Do I want to have to work? No, but I will work. What percentage of the what percentage of the financial family load do you want to have to be responsible for for a lifetime? Um, like what parts I gotta pay for? No, what percentage of the overall family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for? What percentage out of one hundred percent of the family financial load? What do you want to have to do? Means, means if you don't do it, it doesn't happen. Thirty-five, forty. 35 or 40, that means you're going to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then understand that even, even if you did work, uh, marry a man uh, who can provide, you'll probably get 12 weeks off after you have your baby and you got to put him in daycare. All these are very realistic things. But how much um, do you think your husband would have to make to provide for you? him and two children.
How much? I don't know. Ballpark it. A few mil. Annually? Yeah. I'll give you a chance to re to to go ahead and be um, realistic. A hundred thousand a year is that realistic? That's uh, that's okay for one person. I just said earlier, man. Unless you plan on making about one hundred fifty thousand, you're going to need a husband. But now, if you talk about you, a husband, a husband, that's you and four that's kids. That's why my answers are kind of. What? These are all questions I haven't thought about. Well then, how are you gonna how are you gonna find a suitable husband if you don't know what kind of lifestyle you want to have and about how much it's gonna take for a man to provide that? They usually all have like their own money. I don't know. I never thought about it. And unfortunately, and I mean no disrespect. And thank you. Now, now I do. Thank you. But what I'm saying is. This is what men are, so people get mad at me when I t sit around and judge women and rape women. Men want something for their money, and what you're hearing is you don't mean anything about it, but you haven't thought about what these men want, who they are, demographically, anything. It's just, there's, it's supposed to just happen. To take care of two kids in Atlanta, you're talking around about $250,000 a year. That's just to provide a decent middle-class lifestyle for a wife that doesn't have to work. If you choose to work, but you still don't want to be responsible for half a load. And honestly, the way I'm reading you, you probably want to be responsible for less than 20%. <laughs> that means some kind of home business or something, which is no insult, but you don't, it, you, you don't want the family to be at risk if you don't work. True or false? True. That means you want to be responsible for less than 20%. Yeah, like if something happens to my husband, I want to be able to have that money to like hear, like, you know. If something happened to your husband. Like, or to lose his job and let's say for four months he don't have no money, I want to have enough money to be able to pay whatever has to be paid. Yeah, but, that's, but you could do that on 20%. But I'm talking right. about if you stop doing what you did, period, you lose the house. Yeah. At 40%. If you stop doing what you're doing, you lose everything. And what I'm trying to get people to understand is women have not been told to think about it. It's just like you really just think that the men will figure it out. And if that's the case, then you shouldn't have any problem being fit, feminine, cooperative, and submissive. Since we got to figure it out, we got to be the ones that have all these answers. Then if we say go right, you should be yes, sir. Can you honestly say that's how you are in a relationship? Most of the time, yes. But you just said you didn't you didn't quit a job that was problematic. Because it didn't make sense to me. If you're yeah. not helping with any of my finances, why I get it. I get it. I get yeah. it. It's a different situation. Yeah. But now you gotta think about it. Because it okay if now you're what he said. You're at the age I call the danger zone, 27 to 35. And the pur purpose of that. Is because women at that age, you need to focus like a laser on the outcomes you want in life and start making those things happen. Women need to get the major parts of their life together sooner than men. So this call should be a wake up call to say, all right, I got to stop acting like I got all this time because I start running out of options, especially childbearing options and things like that. And unless you have really, really have men in your life today, that are actively considering to you to be their wife. You can't say I'll just get married. You got to find. You got to think about the kind of lifestyle, the kind of man that can provide that. Understand where they are, what they want from a woman, and then realize you got to compete with the women around them. 